in the seventh petition of the Lord's Prayer, we pray, deliver us from evil. You could argue from the Greek text that it's not actually deliver us from evil, but rather a substantival noun, deliver us from the evil one that Jesus is teaching us to pray here. And it's translated that way elsewhere in the New Testament where that phrase shows up. Deliver us from the evil one. Rescue us from Satan, that old evil foe. Satan's power is real and it is strong. His primary power in this creation is sin and guilt. He is called the accuser for a reason. He is to stand before us, before God, and he is to accuse us of our sins. And he does it daily. He takes your sin, he holds it over your head as a weight that presses down, crushes us, and says, well, yeah, God forgave you that last time, but now you did it again. Or, this is like the 15th time. God's forgiveness has run out. God can't forgive you this time. He takes those sins and he says, well, yes, God can forgive. He can forgive that person over there. But your sin? Well, that's too great for the Lord to forgive. You're stuck. You're crushed under this one. The devil accuses us. He holds our sins against us. But this, this is the power of the cross. That Jesus Christ came into this world to fulfill Genesis 3.15, as God said that he would send one who would crush this serpent's head. And he did. He goes to the cross. It's Satan's thought victory. Satan thinks he's won. He's got Jesus hanging up on a cross. He's got him bleeding out. He's killing God. And yet in that moment that Satan thought was his victory, it's Satan's demise. Because all the power Satan had over me and you, all of it is undone just like that. It's gone. Satan's power was to take our sin and use it to accuse us. And now he can't. Because Jesus looks at that sin and he says, it's gone. He says he took it for you. He took it for me. He took all of our sins upon himself on the tree. And it's done. Satan has no more power over us. This is why the book of Revelation can talk about Satan and his angels being cast out from heaven on the day of judgment. He has no power over us. So we pray, deliver us from the evil one. And Jesus has. He has delivered us from the evil one. Thanks be to God. And at this, the conclusion of the Lord's Prayer, we pray together for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It's a simple doxology. All those things belong to God. It's his kingdom. He has the power. He can do all things. And glory, well, that's the reason we look at someone. He is glorified. He's lifted up for us to see because he is good, always. And he has saved us. And to that we say amen, which simply means truly. Amen. Thanks be to Jesus.